Amen. Praise the Lord, people. Praise the Lord, church. Everyone say, I belong to this house. I belong to this house. I'm a living stone. In this house, I'm growing. One, two, three, go. I belong to this house. I am a living stone. In this house, I'm growing. I belong to this house. I'm a living stone. In this house, I'm growing. Take a mark, Janja. I belong to this. I belong to this house. Yes. I am a living stone. In this house, I'm growing. Chitem Muluganda. Ndiwa Munyumbe no. Ndi Jinja Damu. Munyumbe no. Ogo Kubiri. Ndiwa Munyumbe no. Ndi Jinja Damu. Munyumbe no. Kula. Ogo Kusemba yo. Ndiwa Munyumbe no. Ndi Jinja Damu. Amen. Let's pray before we see it. Father, we thank you for Jesus. Thank you that he took our place when he paid for our sin on the cross. Thank you that our debts are fully paid for. And we are forgiven. We are sons and daughters of God. We stand at peace and liberty because whom the Son has set free is free indeed. Now, Lord, as we hear your word, open our ears to hear what the Spirit says. Open our eyes to see what you see and what you are doing in this season. Give us understanding a revelation of your word into your word. May your word change us. May your word transform us into who you want us to be. In Jesus' name. And everyone say amen. Can I hear a very strong amen? Amen. You may take your seat. Amen. So good to see you. It's good to see our son Yahweh is getting married. That, that's a challenge to people like Dani Mukalazi. They are waiting to ripen, but it's God who knows. I think we need to put an age limit on these things. We cannot rear you to that age. We need to have a council of fathers. And, uh, and, and just decide for those people like Makalas, all that category. You. The girls who want to get married, please, please register yourselves. We are going to get one of you. When Mukalas comes here, we are not going to let him know. We shall just call him forth. And the wedding shall happen like that. Amen. 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 If you cannot think for yourself, there are people who are thinking on your behalf. We thank the Lord, brethren. Tomorrow we have a pastor's conference in Bubvi. Kassande, Nakauka, and you reached to a village called Bovi. The Lord gave us land there and a ministry. We have 40 acres of land. We built a Bible college there. And the Bible college is called Yes Akwagala Bible College. And this week, that's where our conference for all pastors is going to take place. Uh, 360 something church, uh, pastors are coming. We're including us from Kawempe. And they are going to have five powerful days of teaching and preaching. 
We also invited and many of um, a lot of our national leaders from other nations have already come. Pastor, our national leader from Rwanda has already arrived. Our national leader from Burundi came. Our national leader from Kenya. Congo, Sudan. Congo, Sudan. And Ghana. Ghana. They are all going to be with us. Our national leader from the U.S. came no. in last night. I just want to let you know that you are part of a great group of people. We are, we are a family of churches. Uh, two weeks ago, I was in uh, two weeks, three weeks ago, I was in Rwanda. Which we are opening a, a brand new state of the art building in Chigali. The first of its kind in our ministry. Very fancy. Amen. Amen. And I, I was there and I, I told myself we, we are going to kick start the construction of our cathedral too. So one of these Sundays, after church, the pastors, we are going to lead all of you to that site. And we will pray over the grounds again. And every one of you will stand on a pillar. Hold that pillar and tell yourself that I'm also going to be called a pillar in the house of the Lord. Every family. Let every family get hold of a pillar that they're going to build and finish. We are going to build that building. We have to build it. Because we need it. This nation needs it. We are going to build it. We are going to bring them in a place like this. And we are not going to wait for them to come so that we build. And afterwards, they will say that it's us who build it when you are defeated. So people get ready. We are soon kick starting that project. Amen. Amina. And thank God for the people we have partners that are giving above and beyond. I mean, you are in our prayers. And if you're not part of them, you can join them. The thing is positioning yourself. Getting ready. For what God is going to do. You see, with giving, it's not about how much you give. It's what God has put in your spirit. And giving is about a willing heart. And so as, as um, how many people have enjoyed Pastor Paul's teaching in the last month? Amen. Amen. We have enjoyed You who didn't enjoy Maybe you are the ones who have been present, but you're not listening. It's like I've missed most of those Sundays, but I was online. In Chigali, I had access to internet, so I was able to watch the services. The Sundays when I was ministering in another place, I come back, I sit, and I listen to the sermons. You know what we call that in our family? When I was in my father's house, if you miss a meal and you, it is official that you are not around, they'll get your portion and put it somewhere and you can eat later. Those of you that miss services, uh, I don't know whether 
uh, other media outlets we are on, but this information is stored there. And still responsibility to catch up with what God has said. If you belong to this house, look at me very well Zukuka. and wake up. If you belong to this house, the only way you can grow, you, ha you have to eat. Oh, you know, Food specifically prepared in this house. If you belong to this house, the only way you have to grow is to eat food that has been prepared in the house where the Lord put you. The, the Lord is not foolish. He knows there is Baptist Church. He knows there is Miracle Center. He knows there is Miracle Center. He knows there is Revelation Church. He knows there is Watoto. He knows there is lunch hour. But as for you, you belong to this house. You can tune in on TV all those other preachers. But the grace to take you to your destiny. God ordained is in this place. You are quiet because some of you in your hearts, you know that you went and fellowship there in Miracle Center. If you could do that in the house of Musisi, where I am born, it means you have slept in the neighbor's place and eaten food in the neighbor's house. And you will be punished for that. My mother would say that to the whole oh, village. Yeah, yeah, he eats at the neighbor's And most place. of you, that's one of the reasons you don't grow. It's because you are in between churches. You are in between preachers. You are listening to someone in London. You are listening to something on YouTube. You are everywhere. And you are not applying anything. Repeat again and say, I belong to this house. Say that I belong to this house. I'm a living stone. In this house. In this house. And there is nothing wrong with Miracle Center. There is nothing wrong with it's Watoto. It's just you don't belong there. The grace to change your life and to prosper you is here. The Bible says in Psalms, God says the solitary in families. It is God who brought you here. It is God who brought you here. Never again say that I decided to fellowship in Kawempe. Now decide to go. Because some people stand here and say that we thank God that you have decided. Heaven no, expects you to be here. And you being here is a responsibility, a personal responsibility. So me, I expect you here. And all the pastors expect you here. So when we stand here to preach, we preach because we know what God has put in our spirit is going to take you to another level. It's going to push you to grow. Say amen. Loitering. Loitering. You leave this class, you go to the other class. You know, some of the weakest Christians I know are people who have more than one pastor. 
This one is my pastor. This one is my pastor. You know, that's a rebellious spirit. It, it has no commitment. When they hold you firm, you escape and say, it's not God who brought me, then you go to Mutundwe. You are going to move around until when you stay still where God puts you. That's why he puts your blessings and the grace that makes you turn and the grace that makes you overcome. God knows geography and he has locations he sets people in. Hmm. Because you are here in Kampala, you are full of wise things. I go to Pastor So. Bible study. Bible study. I go to Pastor So. Am I tithing? Sometimes I give it in the And sometimes somewhere. You try that in your clan. And go back and stay in your father's house. And tell them that today I will sleep here. The other time I will sleep the other house. God is a God of order. He says the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. God is not the author of confusion. And going to different churches is not a blessing. It is a sign of instability. And you girls who want to get married, if you ever get a man without a church, run away. Even you young man do the same if the girl doesn't have a church run. And people don't have an address. And they are committed to nowhere. And nowhere. For you, people of Kawempe, our job as your pastors is to make sure that you grow. You cannot be in this church and live a stagnant life by fire, by water. Hey. You will grow. And if you refuse to grow, we have given you permission today go somewhere that you will go wrong. There is someone who came and beat me. He came and told me in this church we are no longer growing. God is taking us away. I told them that is the way. It's better to find a place where you, you can grow than to stay in a place where it, the place has no value to your life. So if we are not doing, we are not adding value to your family, to your life, you have a permission to exit. Go anywhere, God will, God will add value to you. But if you decide to stay, we will force you. And you will marry. You will get married. Hey. Hey. You will marry and you will get married. And if you ever get married, those things of saying that you will divorce, you forget about them. If you are a member here, you cannot separate with your husband. Every man who beats the wife here is the pastors who are going to fight you as well. And that we are going to put a prison in the building. And to all men who don't buy food at home, and the women who don't know how to cook. 
If you are a member here and you are a woman and you buy chips along the way every evening, may the Lord have mercy on me. If you, you have a husband and you buy chips for him, let us not hear your stories of saying, My husband is always watching the TV. The marriage know what we are talking about. Gamba Amina. Say amen. We have been talking about chasing poverty away from your mindset. And Pastor Paul has spent a whole month teaching us. He has taught us where wealth comes from. And how wealth is attained. We don't expect you among the people who steal from your workplace in the name of Jesus. The the little you we have. are going to believe God to make it big. We are on the promises of God. And they had to come to pass. Because the one who spoke is faithful. The Lord has promised us that in the latter days, the glory of the latter house, it is going to be greater than the former. So the Lord promised us that He's giving us wisdom, He's giving us wealth, and He's giving us fame in this place. So we are going to talk about it until they come to pass in the name of Jesus. I feel like the time of prophesying is over. It's time to start to live the dream. We cannot be in the prophetic mode every Sunday. Once a word has been released, the grace has also been released. And now remains time to live and plant the, the, the spoken word of God. We are going to start working in wealth. And we are going to make labs of the wealth people here. If I ever hear someone making a club of the poor, you will go in the prison up there. All of you are in the club of the rich in the name of Jesus. For you to enter that club, you have to get tired of poverty. And you have to understand that poverty, when you are still poor, even being born again is going to defeat you. You love Jesus, but if you never come out of poverty, even that Jesus you love, you might end up trading him. Poverty is a nasty thing. It's a very, very demonic. I, we, we've been teaching you that poverty is not the purpose of God. God made you to be a blessed person. To live a successful life. To be a person of influence. God has never created you to be a loser. A person that comes last. Every person that believed on the Lord Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. You are already a champion of life. And you need to start believing that about yourself. And confess it with your mouth. And walk like you believe it. The biggest percentage about poverty. 90% is in your brain. The way you think about your life. The way you perceive life. I thought the morning service, I grew up in a family. When I was young, my father had a good job. We, did, we, we, we were doing well. But as we grew, the money dwindled. 
And we found, we found ourselves in a, a place of poverty. It was hard to afford the basic needs of life. It was hard to go to school and to live a decent life. And so I remember my mother speaking to us as a, a, a responsible mother. The best she knew that you people are needed. Be careful how you waste your resources. Don't use too much soap. Don't use too much salt. Don't, don't, don't think that you can't, you can't live without sugar. And we learned how to survive in this mode. Surrounded by rich neighbors. We found ourselves in a place of destitute where we have less than enough. You know what they call living below the poverty lines of a nation. My family found, we found ourselves with no shelter. We could not keep, we could not keep in school. We were the first to be chased out because of school fees. We could not afford decent schools. We had to sneak through the windows and the doors of every school to for us to be able to go to school. And when I got born again, one of the first books I read was the book called Transforming Your Mind. And it was based on Romans 12 2. Change your understanding, something like that, by the, the renewing of your mind. I read that book, it was a thick, big book, and I read it in less than a month. It gave me the practical steps of how to change your mind the way you think. The difference between the poor and the rich is in our heads. The way you think. I want that to sink in. The difference between the rich and the poor is the mindset. How you perceive life will determine where you go, where you end up in life. So a man as he think, he think. So they are. You are a bunch of your thoughts. You look at yourself. The way you are dressed. This is, this is what you thought before you came to church. Kufefe na watu dewa ntewali yesu lide. Wapulani nze, wachilo ozeza. Abamu wagenze kone munda bilu amu. All of us, you planned what you're going to wear and even went to Your appearance is a result, a result of what you thought. Chechiva mo ito chewalo ozeza. Ela abamu wagenze maso na obu uzaba nonti. And some of you even asked your friends. Kantu use. Is this good enough? And those who do not think well, they are those who have not seen that. You don't even know how you look like. The way you are is something you had predetermined in your mind. That's what, that's what a normal, normal person does. It's me and my family, we, 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 we choose what we are going to wear on Sunday on Saturday night. Make, make sure you, it's ready before Sunday morning. Your, your mind is key. And so poverty is up here. The day you change your mind, you, be, you think differently and then you start to become a different person. But you have to hate poverty. The poor person doesn't have a voice. They will always be speaking for them. The poor person, you don't have a place to stay. You don't have some, you don't choose what to eat. You don't choose where to stay. A poor person is always picking up things. 
Even if you give them 500, they will pick up something. A poor person doesn't have a reason in life. Like I say, if a poor person does not decide what to take, they will just say, as long as I get somewhere to put my head, as long as I get a little to eat, that's Life is more than that, people. God has never co created you to live that like that. That you you only you you can only sleep where they give you space. You are a son of God. You are a daughter of God. If the Creator of heaven is your father, the Maker of all things, you need to get to a place where you can have choice. Even if you don't say amen, in this house you grow. You must have choice where to stay, where to sleep, where to wear. You need to have preferences and preferences. Why? Because your father is the neck of heaven and earth. If you believe in him and if he loves you, he cannot let you live like a beggar. Gamba Amina. Say Amen. Salawo boli mwana wakatonda obogi na kubera mudua mudue. Decide if you're going to be a child of God or a servant. Which father? Tata chief. Gives birth to children. Azala vana. And leave them loitering everywhere. Na vale kanga venge la buli wamu. Scavenging for food in dump stands. Nga vana onye mede mukasasiro. Our heavenly father. Chita fa imu. The Bible says he takes care of the birds of the air. Bible ye gamba nti alabi dide vinyonye vyo mubanga. He has counted the number of the hair on your head. He rama nyo muwendo kwen video kuli kumutweku. He knows you when you stand up. Akumanyi wo yimi hila. He knows when you sit down. Akumanyi wo tula kwan sing. He knows you're going and you're Coming Please in. look at me. I'm the one speaking. You know the born again pretend they don't understand. But in this house, we are going to overcome by force. And where we are going, we are going to family. We are going to decide for our families. Let them wait for the one from the worship center to come. Let them wait for the born again to come. Your father and all your siblings, even if you are the last one, you are the one with a voice. Why? Because we have a living God, the one who created the heaven and earth, and all a thousand Cows on the hills belong to him. The, the, the Bible in Psalms 24 says the world and all its fullness belong to him. Say amen. The word says in Genesis 25. And in verse 29. The Bible says now Jacob was, now Jacob cooked. 29 and verse 25 and verse 29. The Bible says, now Jacob cooked a stew. And Esau came in from the field and he was weary. And Esau said to Jacob, please feed me with that same red stew for I am weary. Therefore his name is called Edom. But Jacob said, sell me your birthright as of this day. And Esau said, look, I'm about to die. So what is this birthright to me? 33, then Jacob said, swear to me as of this day. So he swore to him. And sold his birthright to Jacob. And Jacob gave Esau bread and a stew of lentils. Then he ate and drank. Arose. And went his way. 
Thus Esau despises birthright. In John 1 12, the Bible says, But as many as has received him, to them he gave the right to become the children of God. To those who believe in his name, who are born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And so here is two groups of people. We in the, in the New Testament are birthright we carry through Christ Jesus. But the story of Jacob and Esau is the story of natural birthright. What's birthright? The rights of, there were always the privileges of a first son. The firstborn son had uh, the opportunity to take over from his father to use his father's authority to run the family estate and he was able to replace the father if the father passed on. So the Bible says when, uh, when uh, was it Rebecca was pregnant Two boys were found in, in her womb. And they struggled with one another. And she went before the Lord, inquiring what was the trouble. And the Bible says the Lord spoke to her and he said, Two nations are in your womb. The older shall serve the younger. And the younger shall be greater than the older. And so when the time for birth came, Esau came out first. And the Bible says he was red with hair. But as soon as he was about to come out, his brother Jacob had grabbed his heel and came out with a hand like this. Usually normal babies come out with his head first. But not for Jacob. He was, he was born like this. Hand out first. And head next. And so the Bible says, Esau was given a name Esau. Because he was hairy and red. And Jacob was given the name Jacob. When the boys grew, the Bible says Esau became a skillful hunter. A occupation that had no history in their family line. Jacob became a farmer. The Bible says a man that dwells within the, uh, the tents. But Jacob was wild, but Esau was wild all over the place. A skillful hunter. A man who lived by going to the jungle thinking that he will catch something to feed himself and feed his family. How many people know that that kind of occupation cannot sustain you in this generation? A hunter is someone that eats hand to mouth. The day you don't go out to hunt, you don't eat. But uh, Esau chose that as, as an occupation. The good thing, he became very skillful. In other words, if, 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 if he, he went hunting, the chances of him missing an animal was very rare. Until this day came. He, he went out, out, hunted all day, caught nothing. Or something outran him. By the time he came back, wasted energy, no food at home. And guess who was ready? His young brother. 
Jacob had cooked this red stew. Yakobo yali afumbia supu we omumiyo. And it seemed like he has been doing it for a few times. Era kirabika nti yali nga chikole mirundi ejo. Until this time. Era kutusa kuluno. Jacob said. Yakobo na You cannot eat keep eating free food every day. Togenda kulianga mmere ya bwerele buli lunaku. Give me something for exchange. Chugula emmere eno. And he targeted his his a birthright. Era nga tunulide obuzalira no abwe. And many people say that Jacob was stole. According to me, no. If I had a big brother and we had a family with a prophetic call to lead nations, to influence nations, and I saw him going to the hospital. Working these funny jobs of what I get is what I eat. Choose. You have no plan to change. I will really think twice before I recognize him as a success of my father. This family was not the usual family that you know. Their grandfather is Abraham. A man who met God face to face. And God spoke to him and to, to, and he said, through you, the family, all the nations shall be blessed. And God confirmed it with Isaac, his son. Now here is Jacob, the grandson of a prophet, and his elder brother Esau. He's not, he's not only a hunter, but he's also going to the clubs to pick women. Because the Bible says when he was ready to marry, he went to these ungodly tribes and picked women. Oh, his parents were grieved. He was grieved. So for Jacob to take the birthright, he was not just saying, when you look at Jacob the story, telling, Jacob had looked at the future. And he said, when my father dies, and Esau inherits him, the truth is the day who come back without food, he is going to sell us inside the house. Have you ever seen people like those? There are so many people, some of you not be like this. But your father's heart is and also your big and your aunties. The people in your clan. You will not be in Kawempe here sleeping in the ghetto. Because where you come from, you are people with, a, people with a mindset of Esau. Whatever they get, they sell. Whenever they don't eat, give me a thousand in this. I'll come for it when I get it. They don't go back there. You sell the basin. You sell the carpets. You sell the DVD. You sell the TV. They first sell the table. As they're waiting to sell the table. As well. And if you are a wife to such a man, Get some things, bring them to church, we keep them for you. Because you find yourself sleeping on the floor. Such a man can sell even the blankets. How do you accept that someone will come out of him and stand among his people and say this family, we are going forward. We are going. But yet they are selling carpets at home. Maybe you have passed through there, but if it becomes a habit, and it's, uh, it's, it's, as if it's a job to sell the stuff in the house, 
Even if I was Jacob, I would have done that. He told him, today you are not going to eat my food for free. Sell me your birthright. He did not say give me. He said to me very well, in the law of Uganda, if someone comes and gives you things, sometimes they may change. And said, by that time I was I was sleeping. They just forced me. Naye mu Uganda goods one solid. But in Uganda tindu ka stuti tonda. Kati chovola ba mu Yesu akwagala. That's why in Yesu akwagala. Enda watu wangetaka. They used to give us land in Zimbabwe Kanisa. That build a church there. Ngana fetu gena ne tuzimba. And we would go and construct the church. Tokamba mu akazimba ho. After constructing the church. Abana bo mugenzi. That's the children. Gabaja ga mama mama wano. They'll come and say, this place belongs to us. And you had either to pay them or leave their land. So now we decided, whoever gives yes or a piece of land, this is how you give us. I have sold to yes or a piece of land. And from that moment, we've never got in trouble anymore. And from that moment, we've never got in trouble anymore. Mujitegera. Kati Yakobo. So Jacob. Yari musajja lengere wala. He was a man who saw in the future. Bine biobo shikabe yari agula. And the birthright he was buying. Yari takenda bilia. He was not going to eat. Na hii yari aimide mubu nabi. But he was standing in the prophecy. Nagambe miyaka boji itatano. And saying that after 50 years. Miyaka boji italukumi. After a thousand years. And of family liko kuiti wa. This family has a calling. Fetuli no mubu nabi. We have a prophecy. Tulike chigambo cha katonda. We have the word of God. I must see ahead. Nino kulaba mumaso. That's the mentality. That's what we call them. The Jesus. Jacob mentality. The mentality of a farmer. You see ahead. You count your season. And you judge when to plant. A farmer is very calculative. A hunter has no plan. Has no budget. Doesn't hold meetings. Taina meeting yiyo jatuza. Needs no advice. Taina na magezi geyeta. Mwaka kati meeting anajikuba na mpologo maku babi wa izi vane. Because is he going to have a meeting with the lions? Obaka mwenye. All the birds. Na ye abali mi. But farmers. Bama nyokuwe kunganya. They know how to gather themselves. Neveri mirako. And dig for each other. Nse e chango ba mbu izi. Kale what? Kale se chango ba yoko basi iganga ku. The reason why I resisted to hunt. They are the hunters of Masulita when I was young. I saw them putting one on clothes. And they used to hold those things. And spears and sticks. And they used to have dogs which had spent three months on beating. And 15 men would go in the bush. To go and, and hunt. The edible rat. Edible rat. Edible rat. Edible rat. Like edible. So when they would hunt only that, they used to cut off for every hunt And the law of hunting the dog that has hunted, you have to encourage it with a piece Kati of meat. So the eight bull rat five kilograms and ten men mukaga, and six dogs. dogs. How are you going to share that but, meat? But, but that's the mentality of a hunter. Ye ye Usually they, yomu yomu don't, they don't think very far. Tala wasa wala nyo. They don't even tell that in the jungle the animals moved. We were in Chankwanzi in school. And a man went to hunt. He went with a gun. He had gone to kill uh, an antelope. But he had only one, only one bullet in his gun. And as he was going to the antelope, and he, and he found a leopard with its calves. 
By the time he saw it, it, he was already flying in the air. And this guy shot that leopard. But that thing landed on him. The good thing that he had shot it in the heart. It fell over him. And that's how he survived. So when he rose from that place, he cut that, that animal and he brought it. We had the brothers from Kalamoja. They skinned that thing and and they, they had a party. I didn't know that they would eat. But I can assure you that was the last time that man went hunting. Hunting is risky. For you to enter city every day not knowing whether you'll come back or not. You enter Kampala, you need to Wait eat. Agezikuza. You need transport to come back home. Nozifuna. And you get it. And you wait. By the time you come back home, that's when Era you are going to eat. And tomorrow you do the same. Era the whole year. Muizi wa you are a hunter of the city. If you are still at that level, being born again is kind of hard. Because your, your woman will go away. And your children will grow wild. A life of a hunter. Cannot talk about wealth. They only talk about daily food. How am I going to survive tomorrow? How am I going to survive tomorrow? When they are so hungry, they end up doing these things that Esau did. The Bible says that Esau sold his birthright. The thing that was going to put him in line. We would say the God of Abraham. The God of Isaac. And the God of Esau. Do you know what he sold? You know. A stew. I, I don't know why they call it a mugoyo. Uh, but I was using the vajita stew. I think they are the same. Well, well the, the, my, my last time in, in, um, in, uh, in the U.S. I went to this restaurant and they have this uh, this. This uh, thing, this meal called Jambolini. Mu America na genda mu restaurant inga ba ine mire ba jita Jambolini. Ene ngamba inonge la bikanga in Swahili bampeyo. I say that looks like a Swahili dish. Please give me. Jireta. By the time they brought it, it's a bowl which had rice. They had had meat. Eh pork. Eh koko. Eh chicken. Eh yente. Hey, beans. There are beans, carrots, and everything. It's called stew. That's why in because you mix a lot of things. So if you find someone called Esau, they can even sell you their house. After eating so that stew. The, the, the thing is that as we teach you the thing, you need to pray. But also plan that you come out of a weary state. A place of a hunter. Where you live mouth, hand to mouth. By the second week, the salary is over. Third week, you don't know how you survive. You go and borrow from shop to shop. This is the reality of life. This is how many of us live. And, that's, and yet we have the promises of God. Why? It's because the way we think. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Don't pretend not to be here. You cannot be someone who wakes up and you don't know what you're going to eat. You have to fight that in the name of Jesus. And reach to a place and sell all things of food. I can feed myself. I can feed people in my house. When you overcome that brethren, you have started a journey of becoming rich. You have started a journey of becoming rich. Because food brings problems. 
I said food can cause trouble. In the Bible, the first thing, the Bible says the woman looked at food and she said it's good to look at and eat. Even here, we were reading at in es- This business Esau. transaction takes place. The potential of, of, of a whole future is sold to a mere meal. He didn't say that you fit me for three years. And the Bible says that he ate and he drank water. For me, I can even give you soda. That's when I said that you ask for everyone, for everything. When you sell me your birthright, the Bible says after eating, he walked. He went away. He took his, he went his way. Not the way of the Lord. The Bible is he went his way. The Bible says he went his way. That's how, what we have to fight as born again. Poverty. In March, I went to Masaka. There is a pastor who will cut me and say, bishop Come. You are our bishop. We want you to be present. We got someone who's going to build us a church. They had built to the window level. And they say, The one who is coming is going to do the rest. We gave him the budgets and he accepted. I left here at six. I drove to Masaka there. Two. By nine, I was already there. I, am the one, I was there first and other people started coming. After. About 300 people. I started asking them, the rich man who's going to build for us, who is he? Because he had a Muslim name. They told them he's coming. He assured us his coming. He gave the Catholics 100 million. He gave the Muslims 200 million. I don't know how much he gave to the Protestants. Now he is looking for someone again. He accepted he's going to give us the rebalance. 11, 1, 3 p.m. By the, by, by the time it reached 5, advance <laughs> team Remember for me who was there by nine. When he reached. And we are about 70, 700 people. We are the ones who spoke first. All the LOCs from one to five. Oh, our Lord. Our Lord, Honorable. When he came to speak, he said for 40 minutes, and we were so hungry. I was in the tent. You know how you can be hungry in the tent. The sun, I told them, as the bishop, please be giving me something to eat. But how could the guest of honor come when I've already eaten? So by the time he came, he said, therefore, therefore, I have given you five millions. I felt something going up and coming down. I said that even if I stood in Kawempe and asked for five millions, they would have given me that money. The sun, the fuel, you would have given us six months with Mrs. Kasozi and you would have gathered that money. By the time you came from Masaka, I was really hated poverty. And you wait for the rich man. 500 people. Bringing only 5 million. 12 hours. Waiting for one man to bring you 5 million. 
we have to fight hard. Whether it's prayer, we, have, mm. we are going to do it. Mm. And you make a meeting. 30 people. And all of you bring 50,000 only. And you pay for the restaurant 15,000. And now you start getting border borders which are more than 50,000 that you have collected. No. We have to change it. Poverty is a bad thing. It's a sickness that we must cure. Jacob saw in the future and he said, let me buy this that the will Bible benefit doesn't me. say that the following morning he woke up and he was well, doing well. He was buying his future. Because when you have a future in the hands of a reckless leader, a person that has no plan, no vision, no budget, you are doomed. That's the reason why some men, your women, do not listen to you. Because you as a man, you do not have any plan. Everything you're asking Bully the wife. Chin, no buza, Everything you're asking the wife. No day, no buza, ne mama wo. And then you go back and ask your mother. No buza, ne you even ask your brother and sister. But they, they, they also operate these tonnini. That's why a woman will look at you. And say, if I don't go to Saudi Arabia, there is no future here. When I was coming from Chigali, I met, I, when the plane had just landed here in Entebbe, I've never seen a plane that had no white man, but I saw it here. It was full of girls. It was coming from Dubai. All of them were coming back from labor. About 400 of them. They were coming from labor. All of them. Every month they work for only one million. But as we are coming out, there were two groups. They were putting on Sharia. And there are people following. They Those are the mothers here. They have men. They even have children. But now they've gone to the Arab countries. They have gone to work. Why? Because here things are not good. We have two pastors in Yesu Akwagala. Their marriages are failed. Because of people going there. Their wives. When the wives reach there. They saw the Arabs they were working for. And said, I cannot go back to that man. I will get married. Uh, uh, since I married him, I've never attained anything. And most of the women who go to Saudi, they do not bid farewell to their husbands. They will walk in, in secret until they go. Poverty is a disease. As a church, we cannot just look and say that we will just pray. We are going to pray, but we are also going to do something We are going to pray, and we are going to work. Every person, this is the time to measure the meal that you have. Let us look for those of Esau's and buy them in the name of Jesus. I told the people who are here in the first time five years. Every member here, you earn 150,000 and above. In the next five years, you have to buy a piece of land. 
Echo, abasumba fetu chisiza, mtu nule no, muwe kumasimu. Please look at me, not on your phones. Mtu nuli de, look at me very if well. If a member of Kawempe Worship Center, in the worship next center, five years, mumiake tane jidako, if you, are, you, you earn a salary, bobango funo musara, by water, by fire, by force, by what? You own the land. You are the one who has bought it. What we are going to do. There is a place that sell an acre of land at 8 million. We are going to join you in batano, a batano. Of or in groups of five. Two millions each. Go and buy an acre of land. By the time you finish, ask the pastors. We are going to come and measure that land. And let everyone locate where it and passed. And that land might even have a, a way or a road. Even if you look at me as if you're not seeing me, I have said that. Those who don't want please go out and go to where they don't want to buy lands. You have to own a piece of land. A person who doesn't have a piece Bible of land, the Bible tells you, uh, you don't have a place to stay. What the, the Bible says that the Lord put them in land, in the land, uh, established, established them. For you to be called an established person, you must own a place where you can step. If you don't have, even here in church, you don't trust you. They might even marry you off and go. You might be fitted to parent and go back to the village. If you're still renting, you are a big risk to the church. They might even take your belongings. Don't look at me as if you don't see me. You, you are a tenant and you have, have to, to accept, accept I've ever been a tenant and I know what it is called to rent. We rented in Masulita, Masulita Bookshop. We have landlords, their mother, the mother and her children. The mother used to come and check even on the toilet. It's the landlord who determines whether we are clean or not. <laughs> the Lord says, I'm going to make you hate being a tenant in the next five years. Now you, you go and put that nail in that wall. You go in the house that belongs to you and get a hammer. And they find you banging the nail that you put in your picture there of your wedding. You see what the landlord, landlord would do to you. But when we were living in the house, we were living in the house. When the lorry was there in the Together. compound as we are living. Landlord we the landlord where we rented first there in Nansana. He called and said, You have not yet paid the water. I have to... I had to show him those messages that I had paid water. I even paid Yaka and left it there when I was going to use it. We moved all the things out of the house. And Muchalakasas made us to clean the house even more. We washed the house. Yet we are moving out of the house and we still had a month we had paid in that house. But when we were living this place in Kawempe, when the lorry had parked, the landlord sent a message and said that 
We, we spend the whole night moving. And you could not even find the receipt. We looked for the receipt. We had paid the money. And we told him, look in your book and say, I don't know where the receipt We used to pay 600,000 per month. We make a phone call and someone gave us 1.6 million per month. We used to pay 600,000 per month. We make a phone call and someone gave us 1.8 per month. We make a phone you are going to hate it as long as you are still a here. I don't care. Watch your Zimba. Maybe whether you build a house and let it be there. Now enough na go yoga. And you also get someone that you're going to kujoga. In the name of Jesus. Those of us are renting here, but now they build their house in Garuga. E they, they love the church, but the house is in ne, Garuga. To, musumba, taka, ya, senguka, otala, ba, mi, mi, mabega. Pastor Taka moved out of that landlord house. Ya ongeza, ya. The landlord is always increasing. Uli, wana, ba, maso, wati, eh, whenever you wash Uli, your face. Uli, Ladies and gentlemen, you cannot be there without a plan. Some of, of them, you see them, they are like Esau. They are hunters. The phone they are holding is uh, you even have a laptop. You even have a second phone. They are you are renting. But at the time you, nila, for eating, nila nila you eat even better than the landlord. You eat very well. Let me tell you, some of you need to be told of the things. When you live here and say that the pastor first saw me, even if I, I saw you, hey, let me talk about those things here. Because there is someone who says, Why is the pastor always preaching? We are because we are fathers in this house. I am preaching, I'm always on your case because I'm a father in this house. Ladies and gentlemen, Devise all means. We are going to show you people who are going to help us. First of all, you gather your money up. Four people. Or five. The Ladies and gentlemen. We can two millions defeat you. We are going to gather up that money. Eight millions. Let everyone go and get a hundred by a hundred. And you also have your land. Whether you're going to build on that land or you're going to do farming. That is none of our business. But you have to break that thing of moving from place to place. There is land. And there are some estates we see five millions, a hundred by a hundred. It doesn't mean that you're going to be there. In Uganda. Land is valuable. Land is valuable. Decrease on that luxurious life. Sell your phone and get two millions. Saving. Save some money. You are working for the government. Get a lot from the government. Two millions. You will pay for six months. And get a piece of land. And you break that thing. And you also get a place you can stand. And say this place here. This is where I will be buried. But now you don't you say that you are very small? But when you die, you become no mulambo. Senga wa kugobye, kodja wa kugobye, tata wa gambasi ya kuzala, mama utamanje ya kuzala, umulambo ne kubela mkubo wa wegu tiyo mulokoli. Everyone is sending you away and you are all over. Funa kataka. Get a piece of land. And say the moment I die, you are not prepared. Here. Here. And if it's very small, we are going to bury you very deep so that your children can build at the top. 
Gamba amina. Say amen. We are pastors. But we are telling you these things. So you can think ahead. Wealth is accumulated. That's what Jacob did. He got the birthright by buying it. He, uh, <laughs> he lied about the blessing, but he got the blessing. Then, he went to work with his hands. Jacob worked in employment for 21 years. Seven years for his first wife. Seven years for his second wife. Fourteen years, thirteen kids. Twelve boys and one girl. Then he had nothing. Then he entered into a contract with his father-in-law. And he says, I work day and night. No Christmas, no Easter. Whether rain or shine, he was in the jungle. By the end of seven years, when he left Laban's house, the Bible says he separated his properties in three drives. Each drive was, was, was Three miles, three kilometers. Three kilometers. He had camels. He had sheep. And he had goats. And divided them in three. The camels were three kilometers. And the sheep were three kilometers. And the goats. Are you getting me? This Bible, is Jacob. The Bible says when he left his father's house, he was in the street. But when he met God in Bethlehem, he said, Lord, if you ever bless me, where I'm going, I'll come back here in Bethlehem and give you a time. And he brought something. And he said, this one will be a witness between me and you. He went for 21 years. By the time he came back, they said that every camel, you can buy one at $3,000. Now you do small mathematics. Two of them, uh, a thousand of them walking three miles. How much money is that? It's a cent in America. Which car can you buy for 10 millions? But the Bible says he worked with his hands. Bible says he I heard Pastor Paul talking, preaching to us about working. And some of you are annoyed. But let me tell you, you should have a, a job. And if you're not doing anything, do not work for only eating. Hand to mouth. Can't you them? Let me repeat. Do not work only for food. Strive as much as you can. Eat small, but also save. So work like a servant and eat like a king. That's what my judge used to tell me. Meaning, there is a stage of life you have to work very hard. But at least eat one meal. And save this money. And let it become a steal for you. That when you meet your Esau. And you will have bargaining power. And sell me also bargaining. You also sell to me. But born again, we are here abusing us. The pastor does not take care of me. Pastor does not give me food. 
No. Let us work. My father is not upon again. He was working for a company called Car in General. And they told him, You have no job. Anymore. But when I used to visit him, he had a friend. And, and, friend. and they were a account. Accountants, same salary. Same position, same salary. Can Jeno we mugova? But when Karen Jeno chased him, he went back to Seguku, my father. And he sat at home. And he started farming. When he had been there for six months, his friend, the Indian guy, he came looking for him. Remember, they used to get the same salary. And he told him, I'm requesting you to come and let us work together. I also left that company. But I made my own company. Come and work for me. Remember, they were earning the same position salary yemu. and the same position. My father went back home and the Indian made a company. What is the difference there? That Indian used to walk from Kavalaga to and fro. My father could not walk. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He had money for border, 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 border to bring him and to take him back home. Breakfast. breakfast. There is a lady who brought his breakfast. Should I also put an egg? Egg? Should I also add over Whatever you add, 200 shillings. By the time he's coming back for lunch, they even pass by as you're living work. And even at home, by the time you leave the workplace, you have 10,000, but you're working for 300. The Indian man cannot do that. The Indian man will walk back home and he will, uh, he will eat maize and water. By the end of three years, that same, same salary that is what he's going to use to make a company which is not with us, the Ugandans. How many of you can walk three miles? Even if it's God, I didn't have transport. I didn't get money for border border. Born against, we have to Work hard. Get a place where you save at least 5,000 every day. Or a man. And keep it for some time. And you also get bargaining power. Now, if you don't have it, you are going to suffer a lot, you young girl. Not because you are poor. God is looking for something you can touch so he can bless. Amen. Jesus was also hard working. He was a carpenter for 30 years. He worked in Joseph's carpentry. For 30 years. Because that's what boys did. What was Peter? Peter was had a family company. Peter in a business company, a family. With boats and nets. The Bible says he even had partners with whom they worked together. But you know that a born again, you can be there, you have no one to even give you 10,000 shillings. When you die here, we have to sit down. Or when you get sick. All of us have to gather and collect for you 50,000 to pay the hospital bill. May God have mercy on us. May God help us as worship We are going to help ourselves. Stand up on your feet. Tell your neighbor that I'm tired of poverty and I chase it out this year. Turn to another neighbor and tell them I'm tired of poverty and I'm chasing it out this year. Tugenda tuafunye 
Waluo Luganda, we are going to have people pass up and our uh, brethren called David Mulanda. Um, Musumba Paul again, the Kubo Vasinga and Pastor Paul is going to oversee them. Again, Akusoka to let to Bakubi the plan. We are going to sit down and make for you. Uliya Paul Musalo again, the Kwe Wandi. Whoever earns and you earn a salary, you're going to register yourself. Don't tell us how much you earn. Don't tell us how much you earn. We I am salaried. But just sentence in Kwe Romsa. Ah, he's so chitu mala. It's enough. Because if he starts saying those who get 100, you get a hand, uh, 10 million or 20. You are going to enter into a group of those who are going to buy a land. Those of you who are big, you are going to add value on it. Dig a toilet at least in the name of Jesus. Paulo, what do you call Oyo. That one. Oyo mukubi wa pulani. He's an architect. Akuba pulani zama yumba. He can make plans for houses. Mwe akasente. Give him some money. Aku collect inge toke na kuzimba toyi kutakeliyo. And let him collect. They're not going Kuzi, to kuzimba ngazi zimbe nyumba ya kamio. To. <laughs> Ata zimba na kuzimba. Tu ina ingi ya Victor luwa. Where is ingi ya Victor? Aha. Uh -huh. Aha. Kati mtu wa funi dobu wereza. So you you have a ministry na, na, here. Wali wamu zimbi omulala wan. Do we have any other engineers? We are going to get them. We are going to work hard. We are going to work hard. We are going to work hard. In ten years from now, we are going to work hard. In ten years from now, we are going to work hard. In ten years from now, we are going to work hard. In ten years from now, we are going to work hard. In ten years from now, Everyone is a landlord. Even if you be still renting, but you say that I have my house somewhere. Mrs. Utaro has a house in Masulita, another one in Maganjo. Now who stays in Masulita? The plan is. Kati nero ina kaka dekamu. Today you have only one million. Tu sala magazi. 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 Tu those who have properties that have 100 million, those 100 million will become in a billion now, in the name of Jesus. Now, we must accumulate wealth. Raise up your hands. I don't know what God has been speaking to you. But some of you need to break the, the mentality of, of a hunter. You can't eat the whole salary. You can't work hand to mouth. We are going to pray for wisdom. May the Lord give you an idea. Some of you don't need an idea. You need to start saving right now. Until you accumulate those two millions. Father, in Jesus' name, I thank you for the prophetic word over this congregation. I thank you, it is your will. You have purposed that in this place stands millionaires and billionaires. They may not be, they may not look like it is. But Lord, we believe your word. We believe your promises. You never lie. Here we are today. Raising our hands. Empty hands. But knowing that you are God that can fill them, I pray in Jesus' name that from this day forth, may you change our thinking. May you transform us. May you break the chains of poverty from our thought lines in Jesus' name. And let the word of God, let the blessing of God richly dwell in us. I break every chain of poverty. I break every thought that exalts itself against the knowledge of Christ. I break every mountain. I break every prison door. I pronounce on your people that these people are not poor. These people are not losers. These are champions of life. These are winners of life. 
These are the children of God, sons and daughters of God, bought by the precious blood of Jesus. I declare over them the blessings of God, the blessings that come through the blood of Jesus, the, the blood of the covenant. I declare over each one of them. No one of them is poor. No one of them is down. They are over the mountains. I declare to yourself I am a conqueror. Come and lift up your voice and declare. I am more than a conqueror. I am the one am rich because he was poor. I declare the blessing of Isaac. I declare the blessing that has no sorrow. Declare yourself the grace of God. I declare the house to you. I declare a house. I declare a house. I declare the inheritance that is tangible. I declare wealth. I declare the blessing of the village and its entity. You never be a wealthy. You never lack blessings. You never lack glory. I declare blessing upon you. That you not be rich anymore. The Lord will build your house. The peace of the Lord is coming out for you. The blessing of the Lord is surrounding you. It is overwhelming. I declare a blessing. As you go and as you go out. Blessing in the I blessing in the I blessing in the I the blessing in the I 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 blessing in the in the morning, in the evening, in the morning, in the evening, 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 in the Bless us, we declare blessings. Africa be a blessing. You be a blessing. You be blessed. 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 May the Lord open for you nations. May the Lord open for you nations. I call for the words from the mountains. I call for the words from the valleys. I call for the words from the land. I call for the words from the land. I call for the words from the land. The blessing 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 from the land. I call for the words. That you be ahead in the day. You be above and not below. You be a power to 
I breath your blessing. 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 Come on, people, come on, people. Declare until you believe it. Declare until you believe it. Declare until you believe it. I declare the blessing of vehicles, blessing of cars. That you put the city of the country. Kenya. You have houses in the whole of Africa. Company, yo. Your company. Let it be a chain of companies. Let it be blessed in the cities of the nation. Hey, and I open for your nation. Your nation shall close you your house. You have visas. You have visas. America. America. Visas of that you be a businessman from different countries. May the Lord make you a head. May the Lord make you rich. May you increase. May the Lord plant you the nation that is in you. May the Lord establish you. Let the rich expand. Let the rich expand. Whatever you are doing, I command them to come back. I command them to come back. In the name of Jesus, whoever you are doing, I command it to be turning back to the end of time. Let us solemn from you to come back. Let it come back. In the name of Jesus, whoever you are doing, I command it to be turning back to the end of time. Let us solemn from you to come back. Pray. Whoever your inheritance was stolen, come here in the front. There is someone who thinks you are a young person. And that's for the class of the stone. But in the name of Jesus Christ, you are very father and son of the prophet. But the Lord is saying they will bring me back whatever was stolen from you. It is coming back seven times and more. Pray. 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 Call them, call them in the name of Jesus. Call them, they will come back. They are coming back. You are going to be like Job. In the latter days, you will be a more blessed, better than the first one. Pray. Go forth the land. Go forth your house. Go forth the land. Go forth your house. Go forth your house. Go forth your inheritance. Go forth your property. Let them bring them back. Seven times and more. Come on, pray. 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 Come on, Prophetic confession. Yatula. 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 Declare, brethren. Say that I'm not poor. Yes, I'm not poor. 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 Ya karaba ba 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 seke tekele ni araba yandara ya kete kele ni araba kase tele liko sokoro ba seke le nangiri ya ba millionaires kuti fuchino nangiri ya ba billionaires kuti fuchino 
I declare a blessing that brings millionaires a blessing. I declare the name of Jesus that you are going to be strong. They will call you strong. You are going to sit here. You ate a blessing that the Lord gave you. No one will take it from you. No one will take it from you. We will give them to you. We will give them to you. Because you your blessings you are your blessings to you are no longer poor. you are no longer 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 you are no no this is life and death. It is today that you break out. It is today that you break out. It is today that you break out. We break the cycle of poverty. We break the cycle of lack. We break the cycle of lack over your life. We break the cycle of a hunter. We break the cycle of a hunter. We break the cycle of a hunter. A new beginning begins. 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 A new beginning for you. 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 You are the first of your generation. You are the first in your family. You are the pioneer. The pioneer of millionaires. A pioneer of blessed people. A pioneer. You are the beginning of a new generation. A new caliber of people. Called by God. Blessed by God. Chosen by God. Appointed and anointed. Why you waiting to go all over? Why you waiting to go? Why you waiting to go? Something is breaking. Why you waiting to go? Something is breaking. Why you waiting to go? Something is breaking. Oh, bamboo bangisa. You're coming out of prison. 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 Oh, bamboo bangisa. Divine connection. God is bringing people that are going to lift your hand and take you where you are going. Divine connection. Some of you, people who come from other nations and connect with you, and they will pull you from poverty. Open doors. 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 Come on, people. Something is breaking. 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 I feel like there is a new beginning. For some people here, God is going to connect you. I don't know who I'm talking to. But there are people. There are people outside Uganda. They are going to connect with you. And once I contact you, it will be game over. Game over for you. Game over for you. For those people, God is sending them your way to be your starting point. Rasakata 
I declare lands here. I declare pieces of land here. I declare a big land, Lord, in this place. I declare houses. I declare stored houses. I 